Northwest, Delta Airlines report combined $10.5 billion quarterly shortfall or loss. Delta Airlines, the nation's third largest carrier or airline, said Wednesday its loss has widened in the first quarter to $6.39 billion, largely because of a special charge related to a steep decline in the company's market value blamed on soaring, rapidly rising fuel prices. The price of jet fuel, jet fuel has doubled in one year. Additionally, Northwest Airlines, which last week agreed to combine with Delta to form the world's largest airline, has reported a $4.1 billion loss for its first quarter, Wednesday. The combined loss from the two carriers comes to $10.5 billion. Delta's results badly missed Wall Street expectations in spite of a 12% increase in sales. The Atlanta-based company said the loss is equivalent to $16.15 per share. That compares with a loss of $130 million that Delta reported in the year ago January-March quarter when it was still in bankruptcy. In other words, in one year, it's got a whole lot worse. And, well, it's going to get worse. All the airlines are facing bankruptcy. Well, jet airlines, or jet airliners, they were only profitable when jet fuel was cheap. But the days of cheap oil is over. Peak oil and all that goes with it. Anyway, excluding Special items, primarily a $6.1 billion non-cash charge relating to, relating to the decline in Delta's market value. The airline lost $274 million, or $0.69 cents a share in the first quarter. Revenue in the quarter rose to $4.77 billion, compared with four point. 24 billion recorded in the same period a year ago. Delta Airlines said its first quarter loss before special items was driven by a 585 million year over year increase in the cost of fuel. And there's the problem. When it exited Chapter 11 protection, Delta projected its stock would be worth $9.4 billion to $12 billion in all. But that was assuming the price of crude would be at $70 per barrel, which it's almost double that, at least before long, and it will be going higher. Another sign of peak oil and all that goes with it. Gas and oil prices pushed further into record high territory Tuesday, with crude nearing $120 a barrel. Retail gas reached a national average of $3.51 a gallon for the first time ever. Delta's current market value is roughly $2.6 billion, based on 395.6 million shares outstanding, which include some shares not yet distributed to some creditors from its bankruptcy case. And Delta announced last week that it would acquire the Northwest Airlines Corporation in a stock swap deal that, if approved by regulators and shareholders, 
will create the world's largest airline. They're all going to have to murder. And, but then eventually, there's, there's going to have to be some changes. Our need to respond to the pressures of dramatically, rapidly rising fuel costs and a softening U.S. economy, or U.S. economy that is in a recession, drove us to take a closer look at all options to protect Delta's, Delta's future. Chief Executive Richard Anderson said in a statement, The airlines are trying to sell the merger deal to the public, employees, federal regulators, and Wall Street, but so far, investors appear very unconvinced. The stock declines since the deal was announced have shaved roughly $1.3 billion off the value of the deal to Northwest shareholders, who would get 1.25 Delta shares for every Northwest share that they own. The carriers, so far, have said they have no current plans to cut more U.S. flights beyond what they have disclosed separately. Others have said that limits the cost savings or higher fares the airlines could reap from the deal. The companies haven't ruled out further capacity cuts in the future as fuel prices continue to rise, which they will. So, I would say they're going to have to cut capacity when people are flying more than ever. That drives up the price even more, doesn't it? Anyway, the airlines are in real trouble. And these are more signs. Yes, time has come. 